Hey there and welcome to painting the car cutter and unlike the last one this one's going to be quite a fast paint job going to keep it short simple sweet going to use the same technique as I did for the last one as well in terms of doing in luminescence so first up just going to start blocking in colors so going to do the all important charcoal gray and I'm going to bring this first ship to white knock it back so I'll get all of the charcoal and blue grey and dry brush and what not done and I'll be back in a moment. Here we go then, applied all the charcoal grey, the blue grey and the white just to give it that final lighting up. And if you were watching or interested in this kind of malarkey, uh, last time I used this combination charcoal grey, blue grey and then the white highlight was on the... Um, Daiyokai heavy infantry, heavy armor for the JSA. And um, I used a black blue combination. So this time we use a black purple combination ink over the top of this. So you can just see what the difference is and how it works. Um, might even just do another last white dry brush because maybe did that whilst the paint was still a tad wet. But I'll get it done, I'll be back in a moment. Here you go then, this is it all dried up. Uh, this is two parts black, two parts purple, one part water. And it just gives you this sort of purpley black, brings out all the details. I think with this guy, I'm actually going to keep him as like some kind of stealth ninja, stealth ninja drone, um, because he's kind of your Marrot's little friend. Uh, next up, though, I'm just gonna probably actually just run a series of. Um, very pale grey highlights around this one just to not even pseudo highlights if that makes sense like pre-highlight highlights running on leading edges of panels and dragging it back towards the back edge uh, don't actually want this guy to come much more um, complicated than this in fact I think I'm just gonna add in some just different colors so there's um, panels which have got some kind of different color on it it's probably gonna be going by the other guys like maybe the white panels maybe I'm going to do lilac and bring lilac up to white so I'm going to put in the lilac to base in those areas and I'll be back in a moment and you can see what, how that's going here you go then I've put on all of the I said lilac but it's actually uh, pale violet and um, I'm having a windy day here so Please don't mind the howling outside, it's just wind, it's not, well, it's not farting, but you know, it's just, just, yeah, thanks wind. Um, you might not even be able to hear this, which makes me sound like I'm just going a bit mad, but I'm not. And then all of the lilacs I'm going to take up to very pale, almost white, I'm going to leave the greys grey, I will run final highlights around all the greys. So then it's just touching in the knife and um, deciding on luminescence. That's the other thing, I will be doing a lighting effect on this one again because that's going to be the common thread running through all of my ALF forces. Well, cool beginning or not, you decide. It's basically ready for the next phase of painting and that will be next time. So I hope your painting's going really well and everything's coming together and turning out just how you want it. Thank you for watching, have a good one, take care, bye bye.